athletes, it's Coach Sarah McClarty coming to you with Challenge Daytona to give you some tips and tricks as you get ready to train up for Challenge Daytona this December. Let's talk about caps and goggles and how to keep these on your head during the race. I always recommend that you bring an old cap or your favorite cap to the race. Ladies, we've got a lot of hair that we need to keep in that cap and we don't want it to be falling off when we're out there swimming in the race. So how do you keep and make sure that that race cap stays on your head? You put an old cap on first. So I'm gonna put my old cap on first, then I'm gonna put my goggles on, and then on top of all of that, I'm gonna put the Challenge Daytona race cap that they've given me. This way, not only does that top cap protect my goggle straps from being knocked off from all the other competitors, but it stays a lot tighter on my head and holds all of that hair in and makes sure that nothing happens during your race. So when you're packing up for race day, make sure you grab that cap that you usually wear at the pool and put it into your bag. We know that Challenge Daytona is gonna give you a special color for your race wave, but you're gonna wanna use both of them. Now let's talk about the guys who don't have to deal with all of this when they're swimming. Same thing for the goggles. You wanna put your goggles on first and then the race cap over top. Now why would I wanna do that? That's so that again, those other competitors around you don't hit your head while you're swimming and knock your goggle straps off. You can lose your race cap during the race, but we always wanna keep the goggles on our eyes so that our swim is enjoyable and we can see where we're going. So that's my tip and trick for how to keep your goggles and your cap on in the race. Train hard, have fun, see you in December.